Hi all. In this session, let's see what is this Java Messaging Service (JMS). I will explain the architecture of this JMS. Okay. Also, I will explain this producer-consumer model. How they are implemented by using this Rabbit MQ, Active MQ. We'll see that. Okay. So first, see what is this JMS. Okay. So you see, as I told, that is a producer which will produce the message, and in other side there will be a consumer which will consume the message. So producer will produce the message and will send the message, and in the other side the same message will consume by the consumer. The producer will send the message by using this server. This server is known as messaging server. So this messaging server will send the message to consumer, and once the consumer will consume the message or receive the message, will send an acknowledgement. Yes, hey, I I have consumed the message. So this model is known as producer consumer model. So how it is implemented by using this messaging server? How the messaging server is working? It is using JMS provider. JMS provider nothing but JMS. API is actually so JMS provider we are having Rabbit MQ most important is the most popular is Rabbit MQ not only Rabbit MQ we are having Active MQ and JBoss MQ IBM MQ Apache Kafka Amazon Simple Q all these kind of messaging queues we are having JMS provider okay so in my next session I will explain more about this Rabbit MQ okay. So how the messaging service is working by using this JMS provider? We are having like JDBC API, right? That JDBC API we are having the same API JDBC provided. We can use the JDBC API to connect MySQL DB or Oracle DB or Postgres DB. So multiple DB we can connect by using this JDBC API. Similar way JMS API we are having JMS API we can Connect this JBoss MQ or Rabbit MQ or Active MQ, IBM MQ, all these kind of things. So this is JMS provider. So how this JMS provider, Rabbit MQ or Active MQ, how they are working by using this queue and topic. So one one producer will produce the message at the same times. Multiple consumer also consume the same message. So that is called pop stop. If one producer will produce the message and one consumer will consume the message, that is called point to point communication. So that kind of communication will handled by queue. If one to many means will be handled by topic. So this queue and topic, both are both components are very important. I will explain that two types of communications we are having. Okay, so point to point communications. Another is pop up, one to many communications. If one producer is producing the message at the same times, multiple consumer is consuming the message. We'll use topic. So how the JMS JMS nothing but sending the message and receiving the message. It can be more clients or one client. It can be more. A multiple producer also can send the message, and multiple consumer at a time they can receive the message. So this kind of sending and receiving the message, this mechanism known as JMS, Java Messaging Service. Okay. So one by one, I will explain more about Rabbit MQ. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe this channel. It will be really motivate me to create some more videos for you. If you like the video, please like and put some comment. If you have any doubt, please let me know in a comment section. I will respond it. Thank you so much.